Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at uh, Outlook PST files and how to repair uh, corrupt PST files by using the tool that's actually built into um, every version of Outlook since 97, 98, right way to uh, 2013. But it's not very well uh, publicised and it's not easily visible you have to go hunting it down so if you get one of these types of error message you can see on the screen right now then this video is for you and this will help you fix a lot of these issues okay now one of my YouTube members called Robbie said he's having a bit of a trouble with a PST file importing and stuff it may be the case that it's corrupt okay now before you do any work on a system you should always back up your system data just in case something goes wrong and uh, then if something goes wrong you can always revert back okay and make a restore point if you wish so let's get started I'll take no responsibility and remember if anything goes wrong with your PST files or any other data on your system that's entirely up to you so let's get started so here we have our office Outlook 2007 and uh, if you're using any other version the paths will be different and I will put the location for these paths once we get closer to where we need to be so first off let's go to our start button and computer and then we want to go to our C drive and into program files times 86 this is a Windows 7 64 bit machine we want to come down to where it says Microsoft Office and then here is uh, Office 12 we want to go inside here now if you have got another version of um, Outlook then whether it will be 2013, 2010, 2007, 2003 and so on right the way back to 97, 98 then these paths you can see on the screen right now will be the paths for those particular outlook okay so you may want to pause the screen to write those down I'm going to go into here and once you come in here there's a big list of files okay so what you want to do is come down to where it says S uh, which is here and you can see two files here these are utilities to repair okay now you can see here we've got scan and repair utility which is our scan PST file and we've also got um, scan OST and this is our other file okay that you can use to scan for the integrity check of that system so to do a scan here you just need to click on this but before we do that I want to actually uh, show hidden files folders and drives and we're going to be needing to do this so we can see the PST location okay you'll see, it'll come clear in a second once we click on this file now you'll see it's asking for an actual path for your PST files now you may have moved yours to a new location but we're going to click on browse here we're going to go to our C drive users and then the account which has got your PST file and then we want to go to app data now you can see this is now visible go into here local and then we want to come down to where it says uh, let's see here Microsoft and then Outlook and then there is our Outlook.pst file and you can see here this will be the size of it and some of these can get very huge on companies like uh, gigabytes in size but this is only 129 megabytes now once we open this you'll see the path is now been put in there and that is our path and you've got some options here to replace log append uh, to the log and so on and you just need to click on start and what that's going to do is go through eight uh, cycles and it will try to repair a lot of the issues that you may have okay once it's finished those folders found in this file are, are 23 and items found in this file are 6375 now if it's got any problems it will show you errors okay now what you can do is click on repair and uh, it will attempt to repair those it can make a backup of the scan file before you repair with this tool as well there's also some details here now if you do click on repair it will repair the problems that you may have and it will then say repair, repair complete 
now that should be now repaired and you should be good to go okay and that's basically how you can repair a PST file um, with a built-in tool called inbox repair tool now if this doesn't work and you're still having issues and it's corrupt then you can use other tools which you have to pay for they're not free and you can get these uh, online and I will probably do another video on those tools to get the data out and stuff like that with those tools okay so that's basically how you can scan for a corrupt file inside uh, your Outlook version and also how you can repair or to attempt to repair that okay and repair some of the errors that I showed you earlier on okay my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you find this video useful then hit the like button guys it really does help me out uh, and also if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos then hit the subscribe button and uh, that will keep you up to date when I upload a new video so thanks again for watching guys thanks for your support bye for now